Every couple months here at Jake and Joel, we like to do a series called What We'd Buy. Where we talk about cards that we would buy for Magic the Gathering if we hypothetically had to spend money at specific amounts on MTG. $10, $100, $500, and $1,000. Those are the levels. Before we get into this, let's talk about our amazing sponsors, Card Conduit. That's a great spot to sell your MTG singles. TCG Player, which is going to be featured heavily in this video. That's a wonderful spot to pick up singles. Dragon Shield, we've been using for more than 10 years to protect our singles. And then finally, Moxfield, if you need a spot to organize your decks, that's a great spot to do it. We're going to talk more about our sponsors later on in the video. For now, let's Let's get into what we'd buy for December 2023. I love this segment right here because yeah, it's in this segment, we are having fun, man. Yeah. This is just about having a good time. Yeah. My picks, uh, for everybody who doesn't know how this works, are we are we just going into it? Should yeah. we just start it up? What we would buy in December of 2023, yeah, Jake. Remind them how it works. All right, we are going to be picking MTG card, single, or product, whatever, at 10, 100, 500, and then finally, $1,000 level. One, one thousand, thousand dollars, 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 dollars. Echoes don't really work like that, but you know what I was going for. Um, the fun part about this series, y'all, is that uh, none of this is financial advice. These are not cards we're actually buying. These are just cards that if you forced us at bolus point, to purchase MTG stuff with these values of monies, this is what we would purchase. And the thing is, is Jake and I don't tell each other in advance no. what we are doing, what we have picked for the month. So we get to surprise and delight each other just a little bit. Um, Jake, I think that's all the rules and all the caveats. That's, that's how we play this game. We're going to alternate it. I'm going to start out the $10 level do and it. then Joel will do the $100 level. I'm ready, I will baby. do the 500 and then Joel will be first on the 1000. Quick shout out to so, our channel sponsor, TCG player. If you're buying any of these cards, if you do end up spending these doll hairs on your MTG experience, make sure you use our affiliate link either in the description of the video or the pinned comment because it helps us and it's free for you. That's all, That's Jake, right. $10 level, let's go. All right, so at the $10 level, so many cards, 100. I was looking at all-time lows for this. Are you ready? Yep. And every day, hundreds of cards from 30th Anniversary Edition hit all-time lows. It's wild. I can't, I can't imagine why. So for me, at the $10 level, I picked... 30th anniversary edition instill energy you are seriously on this channel in the year I'm 2023 just kidding. i'm just kidding it's worldly tutor from <laughs> dominaria remastered for 10 bucks it's funny one of my levels has a has a fake one as well that's so funny that in the same month for the very first time we both individually were like yeah i'll put a little jokey on mine worldly tutor which one are we picking here any of them honestly honestly throw a any of them they're dart. all sub 10 but I I really like the the uh, extended or let's call it alternate art borderless yeah borderless full art. RKF. I like this one. Dominaria remastered killed the price of so many great cards. What a what a honest honestly a gem of a set. Yes, yeah, for collectors or for uh, players, for players yeah. excuse me. Not for collectors. Yeah, collectors, <laughs> Not for collectors. Collectors molding hard over this one, but uh, players loved it. Yeah, Force of Will just couldn't prop up the set by itself. Force of Will has kind of fallen out of the limelight. So I went with Worldly Tutor here at like under 10 one. bucks. I like this one a lot. The DMR Retro is really good as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, the RKF always going to be a banger. But yeah, I mean, instant speed. Search up a creature. Get that card on your turn. You're ready to combo off like crazy. Really good pick at the $10 level, Jake. I picked... Uh, more of a recent card, a single printing card, because the card is called All Will Be One. Oh, this okay. was the name of the set, and I think personally that this card is going to be hard to reprint if it's not in a master set or in a secret layer. Um, the name of the set is on the card. It's one or more counters on a permanent or player. It is as wide as they could possibly make the wording on this. 
all will be one deals that much damage to target opponent creature and opponent controls or planeswalker and opponent controls five mana mythic red enchantment you can already see that in the spikes on this chart people were like oh this card could be good ah never mind it's not as good oh wait it could be good oh never mind it's not as good it's only a matter of time in my opinion until we get some kind of weird funky pioneer all will be one put one or more counters it's and a good deal card damage yeah i think that there's a lot I do of love enchantments yes a lot of argument for this one at the ten dollar level i um i want to grab a copy of this one before we get too far away from 2023 because i would suspect it seems that... like one that's just gonna creep right because yes. it's just kind of like it's until it gets a reprint obviously if it gets a reprint but it just came out so for me, yeah, I mean, look at what the chart did. The chart was like, and we're up and we're, we're back down. And so the risk becomes lower, right? Exactly. That's that's kind of where I'm at on this one is that low risk right now. It's not really on anybody's radars anymore, but it's going to be a creeper. Let's talk about the $100 level. Jake, let's just buy Edgar Markov for $100. You got it for 80 here. Market price is 107. This card just continues to dodge reprints. It's like Neo from the Matrix. Watsy oh. comes around fully loaded. Pow, pow, pow. Fires off everything. Third copy of doubling season this year. Fuck yeah, dude. Get it out there. <laughs> Let's reprint that shit. Right. Smothering tithe. And somebody pulls a giant lever and we get another one of those. <laughs> All Ed of the tithes. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Edgar Markov, not on any of the lists. But look, I'm just kidding. I don't want to I recommend that anybody go <laughs> buy Edgar Markov at $100 just because it's bought, uh, dodged every single possible reprint. I mean, seriously, we had a vampire set come out. We had Commander Masters come out. It just the, uh, the, it doesn't seem like we're ever going to see it. Anyway, I'm not recommending we buy that one. What I am recommend uh, recommending that you buy is you go look at uh, Commander Masters and you look at Foil Etched Fierce Guardianship look at this chart right here um i would oh. buy two copies of this for the hundred dollars right now i would pick up two pristine copies of fierce guardianship i would play with one and i would seal one away until this card gets up to a hundred dollars and then i would sell it and then i would have yeah. a free foil etched fierce guardianship i don't hate this because there is this eventual aesthetic that is going to be people trying to do the full etched oh, out yeah. Dude, that's all people kind want. of thing yeah this is an interesting choice i like your idea here just like hope that they don't go ham and go more etched fierce yeah. guardianship well, I mean, that's, that's that's how you're like hedging this bet yeah. right honestly i'm i've i'm very public with i am a play purchaser i'm not a collector purchaser i don't have anything graded i don't sit on sealed that's not my game i buy cards to play and i look for the cheapest versions of them uh while still blinging out certain aspects of it wanting to do that and so for me right now this would just be a straight up purchase to have but since we're playing the hundred dollar level let's go ahead and take a flyer and yeah i mean any yeah. any flyer any f in investing in mtg finance hashtag mtg finance any of that shit anymore dude it's all flyers because yeah, oh, yeah. your guardianship could show up twice next year easily they could do the urza to it you know and exactly. then it's like bum, bum, bum. tanked anybody who bought tanked. a retro foil urza is just like oh molding oh man full yeah. molding um yeah. so yeah i mean if i'm gonna pick any <clears throat> any level of like hashtag mtg finance investing in this part yeah. of it, it i'm gonna try and play for cards like this and i'm gonna try and play for treatments like foil etch that that's all people seem to want what would you do with your hundred dollars I mean, I do see some people saying like this card is too OP. You know, I know like it's it's a very strong card. It's just a fantastic card. Fierce Guardianship. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So I was just memeing on this set pretty hard, but let's let's get serious here just for a second. Oh god. Cards from 30th anniversary edition daily over on MTG <laughs> stocks. They are hitting all time lows constantly. Yeah. And I know some of these cards are very expensive. Sure. But daily, if you sort by set on MTG stocks, all time lows, 30th anniversary stuff, just it continues Continuously to just tanking. deep dive, baby. And so for me at the $100 level, I was like, 
let's do 30th anniversary edition Mana Crypt. It's at 103 bucks. We'll just get Mana Crypt at 103. We'll pay, we'll pay more than a normal Mana Crypt, but we'll finally lock in 30th anniversary edition. Uh, or no, it's it's not Mana Crypt, it's Mana Vault. Excuse me. I was me. gonna say, I don't even I don't even think that 30th, card had a 30th, 30th anniversary edition. Anniversary, 30th printing. anniversary edition Mana Vault <laughs> at 103. There it is right there. Actually, you guys, I'm 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 just kidding. I went with Judge Foil Mana Drain because Judge Foil Mana Drain used to be above three hundred dollars. And I was like, let's go. Where is it? There it is, top right. Look at that thing. Yeah, look at this card, dude. Look at the chart of that. Can you go the yearly on this? Chat, nobody is suggesting that you buy 30th anniversary. Jake came in here with a weird hair in his ass about 30th anniversary tonight. That's it. That's all that's happening. It's an ass hair. We don't what want... What happened? We don't want that set. All right. Look at... Dude, okay, so this yeah. card, if you go MTG stocks on this, you actually see, like, this card was as high as, like, 300. Let me... Without you leaving yeah, this, I can... Yeah, the year, right. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. I could see Let me that just this get a, really expensive. This card was back in the day, you know, before Variant Era. Wow. This card just so much... Yeah, it's insane. Well, because it's been reprinted. Double Masters 2022, yep. Commander Legends, Iconic Masters. We got we got a big chunk of reprints back to back to back. But I do think, I mean, look, y'all, we were pushing these base copies of Mana Drain when it was at like 20s and 30s, right? Uh, this is yeah. the Iconic Masters version here. The all-time high of this yeah. from 2016, June 2016, all-time high, $884.71. For the Judge promo cents. version the judge promo that we're looking at right here it got it and that was when it just came out that yep. was before kaladesh it was at eldritch moon uh around that time and yeah dude it had a big spike it got down to like you know it had a big knife down because that's what happens is you get people that actually get out early and they sell them immediately mm -hmm. and then you have people that hold them and now yeah it's lost essentially 90 percent of its value since it first came out and so for me if I want just like an old iconic pre-variant era card, this is kind of where I'm leaning. Leaning. Yeah, the actively, hundred dollar level. Actively falling too. Look at these. Look at these sales. You got near mints in the low hundreds, low hundreds, down lower at hundreds, at hundreds. Whoops, we're into the nineties, and this is only look since at that, August, bro. right? Yeah, right. This is and so uh, for me. This is cool. This yeah, is super this... low risk from where it first came out, and it's old. It's actually an old fun card. I know it's a card that's pretty sweaty. Yeah. Anybody who's playing Mana Drain isn't exactly there for the right reasons. Let's just say that. I won't say that it's impossible, but I would say that it would, it would be an incredibly difficult decision, I would hope, for them to reuse this art again. When you look at all the Mana Drains, obviously it's the only time we've seen that. And so... Right maybe they will treat the judge promo art at the very least as some sort of mini reserve list of art like they do with secret layers maybe there's they you know there's some exclusion on that because it the only thing that i could see making this not safe in the upper uh, uh, under a hundred dollars would be is if you get this one in like modern horizons 3 or something and right suddenly mana drain is a playable i don't know um and they reuse this art that would be the only thing that would tank the safety of this but otherwise really low risk for you know a 90 dollar ish card card from 2016 right? right seriously seriously before we get into our next picks i'd like to talk to you about our sponsor card conduit Card Conduit is an excellent place to sell singles. Whether you are selling stuff internationally or if you're in the United States, Card Conduit is a great resource. You're able to take your unused and unwanted cards and send them to Card Conduit. As long as the cards aren't absolutely bulk, they will buy list whatever you sell them. They even have an amazing price checking tool that allows you to see roughly what you're going to get. That way you're not blindsided by any sort of big price chunk that you're like, wait, I sent them a Mox Amber. Why am I only getting $16 for it? Well, you should have used the price checker. The price checker is going to tell you what the buy list is roughly going to pay for that card. So if you want to sell stuff individually, set it aside. 
Card Conduit has all of the resources. With different tiers to their service, you can pick the service that's right for you, whether it's standard, curated, or whether you just want to send them a bunch of unsorted stuff, and they take different fees depending on the amount of work you do and what kind of cards you are sending them. Check out Card Conduit this year if you want to sell some of your singles and make a little extra cash around the holidays. Big shout out to our sponsor, Card Conduit. TCG Player is one of our main sponsors as well, and if you are picking up Magic the Gathering cards this year for a loved one, if you need to get some extra singles maybe for yourself because you love yourself, then check out TCG Player. That's a great spot to pick up your singles, browse from many reputable sellers, and look for the best competitive prices. Big shout out to our sponsor, TCG Player. And if you are picking up any singles around the holiday, make sure you use the link in the description of the video. That is our TCG Player affiliate link. It costs you nothing extra, and it goes a long way in helping out the Jake and Joel channel. So that means that it's time to go to the $500 level. $500 level. level. Yep. You got it. What you got for me? Uh, which right, 30th so anniversary card are we going to look at? <laughs> Every be... single day over... Our <laughs> on mtg stocks if you go to the all-time lows y'all every single day 30th anniversary cards are hitting brand new all-time lows every single day it's like an epidemic <laughs> uh, but no this this card is actually this card is at a a hugely discounted 474 dollars which i feel like fits for our 500 dollars level sure right 100 percent uh $474 is where this card is at currently and not financial advice. This is just like an extremely huge, amazing discount from where it started. 30th anniversary edition, retro frame, circle of protection, red. Wow. Can you believe it? I cannot. Or, or under 500. Circle what? A, of, I mean, like what a steal. Circle of protection red is 33 cents. No, retro frame. Oh, seven cents. The most expensive circle of protection is $15. Not the 30th anniversary edition, according to what I saw is 474. No, my, my actual, this for me is uh, heavily played unlimited Tundra. Tundra. Heavily played unlimited. Yep. I bet you can get yeah, there. Baby. You look at the unlimited. Yeah. 500 bucks that. heavy play here's one here heavy play sold for 365 you could yeah, even baby. maybe get an M M mp bro like that's what i'm saying wait a, mo wait a month or 12 that's what i'm saying <laughs> you might be able to get I a little 500 dollar like tundra i mean i think it has to be a heavily played one look at a damaged one sold for 550 all right so that's here's wild, dude. here's a mp eight hundred dollars why unlimited unlimited just because i want the older thing that's why because it's closer to the 500 dollars level the revised one is 300 <laughs> right so i mean like if i had to spend or 200 wow look it's as low as and that's got to be damaged really beat up but yeah if i just wanted a tundra i would go with revised what about loops de la tundra it's actually out of stock. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to do what I need it to do. <laughs> okay, I got you. Um, yeah, I mean, can't go wrong with the dual lands in this game. Dual lands are always That's a safe right. place to park it in this game. Um, I want to go with an iconic card <clears throat> that we've seen a lot of copies of here recently. I want to go down to this $50 line. You've got base copies. You've got borderless RKF copies. You got retro frame copies, and you got base copies again. Two different arts of base two different arts of special. Um, I would get 10 copies of Force of Will. I would, this is, I'm like going completely opposite from my typical stance on this. I'm not buying playables. I'm buying one playable here. I don't personally own a Force of Will. If okay. I was spending $500 right now, I would look at maybe Retro, maybe RKF. And I would oh, I see. Buy I see. You're buying copies. a specific version. Yes. Okay. I would buy 10 copies with the hope that across the nine I'm not going to use, they will go up as Force of Will is not reprinted. Fingers crossed. And I will eventually own a free copy of Force of Will by offloading the ones that go up 
20, 30, 40 a little bucks. Bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm not looking for a 100% return on any of these individual cards. I don't think Retro Frame Force Will is going to 100 bucks. We'll see, but I don't think so. But could this 50 go up to 70s? Could this 50 go up to even 75, 80? I think so. I think I could see that. Force of Will has been a... They would need to just not reprint it for a couple years. That's the thing. But, I mean, a lot of the reprints we saw this year were last reprinted in, like, 2020. And so if they can just skip some reprints, let collectors enjoy these cards being valuable for a little while, instead of just slamming every single thing down to the ground, then maybe this card could go up. But It right does now, have that mythic protection. Yep. And it they want it they want to push a whole set with it, and it's been a while. I know we did it this year, but double masters before that, and then mm -hmm. like basically nothing before that. Wow, ten force of wills. This is almost like a spec from you here. That's what I'm saying. It's very rare for me to do this, but at my five hundred dollar level, I just think that this card. I was recently looking for it to pick up a copy because I was like, that's this year. What do I want to buy from this year before we move on to the next year of? unstoppable piles of mtg cardboard i think that right now this could be a potential not financial advice card that you can buy low and saw high later that's what i, I would like do for 500 pick. i like it yep one thousand dollars are yep. you ready i guess we're we're getting into the final round here chat this is the big round where we talk about what we would buy for one thousand dollars if we had to spend 1k right now on mtg i went a little bit over oh wow i went a okay. little bit over but that's all right when i look at this one year chart on these commander masters collector booster boxes there's some I fun think... stuff in this I think that this set is going to go down as one of the ones that probably should have sold more. They probably expected to sell more because right now we're in such a reprint deluge that yes. people are kind of over it. And so there are a lot of treatments in this set. And I'm not saying right now, like right now, the most expensive cards on this, let's just go, let's take it to magic commander masters here we'll sort price high to low on just singles and i'll show you that it ain't like one card is way over 100 and then everything else is 100 or less but you got a lot of like 25 30 30 35 35 45 45 there's a lot of solid there's a lot of really hit. good stuff in here exactly you got a lot of etched versions of popular cards as well i think that over time this set is going to be one where there's just less of it out in the wild and i could this is completely speculate at speculation i don't have any data of sales or anything on this i just feel like for me i haven't heard people talking about this set as much i haven't seen as many cards as many pulls as many new singles as many show-offs of this set and um it just didn't get that serialized push right. and i think that that kind of Came, it did get the textured lotus which yeah. is a really it. fun thing to chase that's it your t y your point is huge your point is huge is that it didn't have the serialized and so it happened in a year where reprints were already just like completely blown out we're not as like we're sort of jaded to reprints now because we know what it's going to do to the price of them um, right. It also happened in a year where we had the one of one, one ring and a host of serialized stuff to go along with it, not even just in Lord of the Rings. And so, yeah, that's my justification for why I think this could be a, a good buy and hold right now. I went really speculative. It would be a fun buy and open too. Yeah. Oh man, it would be just a super saying, 24 fun. packs of collector of this yeah. would be a really good time. Yep, Absolutely burn through a thousand dollars real fucking fast real but, fast <laughs> yeah that is where this month i would say i like that around a thousand bucks if you can get like look at this quantity one for 994 like this person just snapped these up yeah and they've been kind of like stagnating since then so it's interesting just going sideways yeah yeah interesting it'll be interesting to see what this it also just came years. out too so right. it's like 
yeah where will it be in you know a year or two yep so regale us jake where would you spend a thousand dollars right now well if i wasn't buying a retro 30th anniversary edition underground c that just hit an all-time low of 999 dollars nice and i would have to really restrain myself from pulling the trigger on that uh then what i would go with is the serialized atraxa because it's one of the most popular commanders this serialized card was all over the place when march of the machine came out originally yep. and so I've seen the cereal like right around a thousand bucks. I've seen it get to around 800. I've seen serialized Atraxa get uh, be above a thousand as well, but it's like around that level. And so if I had to spend a thousand dollars, I would just get a serialized Atraxa just for the pimp factor. The it's the multiverse legends version. This one, right? Yep. Top commander past two years. Atraxa Praetor's voice. This has not changed since we have had this channel this has not changed that is how popular yeah. this commander is it is the number one commander period period people just love it period so having a serialized of it is oh a... no there is a serialized one on tcg that you can look oh, at Oh, there is nice yeah i don't know I, i'm i think you'll be able to have some market data on this Gold stamp. Oh, serial numbered. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It so wasn't it's actually, up. you know, the market price of it is well below. Uh, but you can see, oh, wow. It actually probably would have been better at the $500 level. But yeah, there's there's $600 ones. There's number 316, number 280, number 115, all around the $600 price. Wow. So this for me is like, if this is your commander yeah. and you're like, you're like, man, I'm going to treat myself. Get one of the one of 500 Atraxa serialized. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, seriously. I want to see if anybody near me. Or number four. one commander as far as decks built. Let's see who's Seems selling like a, for the most expensive, on. which one they've got. Oh, on page two. What do we got here? It doesn't even say. Okay, so they're selling this one near mint foil two thirty nine ninety nine. But I'm not seeing any details. 376 for 1200, 92 for right around 900. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is one where if you're going to sell this, you need to tell us which what number one, it is. What number it is. <laughs> That's kind you guys of... planning to come to my hometown for Magic Con in three months? Brad, where are you? Uh, it's got to be Chicago, right? That's Chicago, right? Probably not. I don't think we're going to be doing that one. Yeah, so Hometown TCG says a fellow serialized card fan, a man after my own heart. Yeah, it's it, it's I I like this one. This started out very high, and now we've seen the adjustment months later. Yeah, I think this is the very first serialized card we've ever had on this series. So it's a a welcome addition, graciously, gratefully accepted into our armory. Um, chat, those are our picks for ten, one hundred, five hundred, and a thousand. If you're watching after the fact on YouTube, make sure you let us know in the comments what you would buy at each individual level. And, you and know, if you do buy something at an individual level, if there is something in this video that has prompted you to want to go out and pick up a card, make sure to use the TCG player link in the description of the video. There's an affiliate link. It does nothing. You, you don't pay any more. All it does is help the channel. It tells TCG player that Jake and Joel are great and that they need to keep sponsoring us. So thank you to TCG player as well. We used that site for the entirety of this video and will continue to do so. So big shout out to them. I know that this has Grand Unifier and Praetor's voice, but look at all the Atraxas, dude. There used to be the one, and now oh, it has I know, dude. exploded. So many Atraxas. For more than 10 years, we've been using these amazing sleeves, and so there is no product that we need to look for outside of Dragon Shield for protecting our singles. With different types of sleeves from dual matte to art sleeves, there is going to be something that works for you. Make sure you go with the best Dragon Shield.